Hey, what's up? This is Marcus over here at Embody Strength HQ. I got my Batman shirt on. I'm ready to go. So, one of the things I want to talk about today, the main thing, is going to be a tip that's going to help you with the kettlebell snatch. So, a lot of times when I go to other gyms or other places, and I see people doing the snatch and still slamming it on their forearms, and that's one of the biggest questions I get: is how do I avoid that slam on the forearm? I still got bruises. I still have really sore hands. So, what we're going to do is we're going to cover just one exercise. But we're going to do it a little bit differently. One of the big problems that people have when they start to incorporate snatches is that they're trying to control that forward momentum, but then bring that bell overhead, which causes the bell to come up over and around. So we're gonna take out that forward, forward momentum, we're gonna take out the hip snap, and we're gonna focus on just keeping everything right in front of us. So we're just gonna focus on a dead start snatch. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna make things a little bit easier, a little easier to control, and now we're focusing on only a couple things. We're focusing on the pull, we're focusing on the rotation of the bell, and we're focusing on that end position. So first thing is, don't have a tight grip. That's so important with this. When you have a tight grip, you actually lose control. You think you're controlling the bell, but you lose control, so have a loose grip. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work our way up. So we're not gonna start going all the way to the top, because a lot of times also, People don't get into the right spot, they're either too far back or too far in front. So we're going to find the perfect spot for you. So this is how we're going to do it. We're going to start with a dead start clean and we're just going to work our way up just like this. So what this does, this is allows you to find the right height. So now you're not worrying about the belt coming up and over. You're not worried about going too far back. You're not worried about your shoulder. We're keeping it very easy and we're giving you a progression that will allow you to do this as safely as possible, bruise free. So for more tips, for follow along programs, strength programs, nutrition advice, all kinds of fun stuff, check out mbodypro.com.